My channel is your girl Deja the Don. If you are new here and if you are not new here, then welcome back. And if you are new here, are you subscribed? Y'all already know I'm gonna ask if you subscribe because if you're not subscribed by now, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because what? Buki, what are you doing? I'm gonna take the glasses off because it's that serious. Take them Gucci's off. You see that? Gucci Uchi Coochie. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. So I'm so happy to be back with another vlog. And um, if you hear a whole bunch of trampling and stomping, it's because there's little kids all up in this house. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Um, I am about to head to DC um, to go to... Actually, first of all, let me start off this vlog differently. So I hope this vlog is really cool, chill. Um, I'm actually about to go to DC right now to go to a, let me, and let me read it word for word because I don't, I don't know what I'm going to. And I'm, and I'm scared. My stomach hurts and all because I'm so nervous. Huh. I'm going to a black woman in comms happy hour at Silver Social DC. And guys, let me tell you guys, I'm so nervous because i don't go nowhere by myself i like my social anxiety really be like up there and i don't really know how to like you know like i guess talk to people first or like make the first impression or even like just you know i don't know i just be so shy and i don't really like that for me but i do have a friend and she was like deja you really really need to get out your comfort zone because you don't know who you're going to be in a room with so you know you gotta advertise and promote yourself market yourself make yourself known and i was like you know what you write because you just never know who's in the room and who could be looking at you who could be intrigued by you who sorry i'm looking over there because i thought i thought there was a bug on my plant but you never know who's like looking at you who's intrigued by you who god has placed you in a room with so i just really asked the holy spirit to like sit there and like guide me because lord knows i be real shy sometimes but it's funny because i was recently placed in a room with people who are very good at speaking like i was placed in a room with people first of all being from the dmv area i feel like I've just been like really, I don't want to say hostile, but I feel like just up north, people are not nice. And I feel like sometimes the environment can be a little hostile, you know, stuff like that. But that's not everybody though, but I definitely grew up more reserved. And I don't know, I really just never would really make the first, imp like make the first impression or make the first conversation because I don't be knowing what to say, guys. I really just don't be knowing what to say. So... This is going to be a big step for me. This is a big step for Deja, okay? And I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I'm like, might as well bring my peoples. So, it starts at 5. It's 4.48, but of course, I don't think I get there on time. It's from 5 to 7. So, I'm going to try to go at like 5.30, read the room. Hopefully, people actually show up because, yeah. But I know a lot of people do attend like these social events. And this is my first social event that I'm going to that's like business and networking, um produced or whatever so I don't know what to bring with me like I am in a weird spot in my career where I don't where I miss mass communications like I miss being in a communications field and I would like to be placed in the room with people who can you know just open the door for me and stuff um there's no telling exactly when and where I'm going to like be going but you know this is just a good opportunity and even so um you know i'm just staying op optimistic i'm praying that you know the right conversations happen with the right people and that this is just a growing and learning opportunity like i'm 28 years old and it's time to step out the box you know do it and do it scared but just do it you know so 
I am waiting on my clothes to be done in the dryer. I did my makeup and I'm doing a no lashes look. Um, so I can wear my glasses. My hair is done. Wig is from Amazon actually. I put it in my storefront. It's supposed to be 30 inches but it's giving like 26 so yeah. Oh lord my dog is here. She's running for dear life from these kids. So guys just bear with me. I'm going to get dressed and the next time y'all probably see me is in the car because I got to escape from these kids. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Y'all, hold up. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Even though this is a networking event, like, who says I can't be styling and profiling? And y'all know I love my Laura Bay glasses. So I'm thinking I might wear these glasses because I know for sure that I'm wearing um, a black bodysuit. These um, animal print gauchos-ish. And I'm going to bring my Louis. So I don't know. Like, should I do Laura Bay or should I do Gucci? I sound bougie as hell, but... But it's it's not even given all that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just bring both. I think I'm going to bring both and just decide. When I get there, I just want to make sure I'm fashionable and cute and stand out a little bit. So, yeah. Let me go get dressed, y'all. All right, y'all. So, I am here. And uh, I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, well, I know exactly why I'm nervous. Like I said, it's not like me to do any solo stuff for real. So, this is new. This is very new. I'm also trying to get like a little TikTok vlog too. So let me try to get my phone up and turn the wheel. I got this. I got this. I got this. Yeah, I don't know which one. I don't know which uh, glasses I want to do still. So let's see. Do I like these? It gives corp. This one gives corporate baddie. This gives corporate baddie. I'm going to edge so big. Okay, so I like this, y'all, because he is corporate baddie. Another girl. He is corporate baddie. So I'm such a Lorve girly, like, so. Yeah, I know when in doubt, I Lorve it out. I feel like this is good for the moment. It gives, like, hey, like, I'm not too casual. Like, I mean, I'm not too preppy. I feel like it gives, like, a little casual chic feel to it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I mean, if need be, I'll switch over to the other glasses. But I think I'm going to go with Lorve. Can never go with L-O-R-V-A-E. Go copy up her to the area. If you see this, I love you. I said, who, baby? All right, y'all, let's go. I'm so scared. I'm in the bathroom. Because I'm scared. I'm nervous, y'all. I'm nervous. I think I saw the group of girls. But I thought it was going to be like, oh, they're just like... Sitting around, I thought it was gonna be like a whole kitten caboodle. No, that like one table, I think. One table. And I saw it. I got nervous. I said, Lord Jesus. I gotta remember. Psalms 23:5. You've prepared a table for me in front of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Let's get it. His lies they told are so familiar They will haunt you, they will kill you Keep you hostage, king will heal you Before him, adore him Alright, hey y'all So, I feel like everything was great Like, I'm so, so freaking happy That I stepped out of my comfort zone And did something that I probably would never do on my own like I am tired of actually limiting myself to experiences just because nobody wants to go with me not that I know I wanted to go but like I really didn't invite nobody except for one friend but um she couldn't make it which is absolutely fine but I stepped out my comfort zone um <laughs> not on my own but I think it was the power of the holy spirit that allowed me to have this opportunity um and to just like be courageous because I had to think about it because if and if this, and if I'm talking and if I'm talking about on faith based stuff like what am I to be afraid of when I have God for me like 
what's the what's the issue? Why 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 am I tripping? Oh, yeah, I'm parking terrible. Oh, I'm I'm not gonna say I'm dumb, but y'all, I really my driving is a zero out of ten. No, not my driving is a zero out of ten, but uh. I really just okay, and I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna back all the way up, cause what the hell, heck am I doing? Okay, okay. All right. I'm like, how dare I be fearful? Where there is a man who was the son of God who came down and died for my sins. Like, like be fearful over what? Be fearful over what? What, what? what are we scared of? This man literally sweated blood and I was scared to go out and meet people. How dare I? So, please keep the card inserted. So I just want to thank the Holy Spirit for being there with me. I want to thank like the girls there that was so sweet. Such girls, girls, all that stuff. Because if because if I would have dealt with mean girls, I don't think I would have been, been able to do it. Like it would have felt I don't know, I would have been really sad, but these girls were not mean girls. These girls are girls who are like established in their career. Um very just joyous and happy and it made me really come out my shell like I was just having conversation like yada 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 and I didn't feel com I didn't feel like uncomfortable like you know um taking video being on social media with it because like I don't know, was just giving a chill vibe so I'm gonna do with the chill vibe I'm just so 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 thankful like y'all don't even know how good I feel I feel so good that I'm about to go see somebody and just thank them for actually helping push me because ever since I met this person, they have really helped me step on my comfort zone and I'm just like being in a room of people, being in the room with people who are just, I don't know, you never want to be the smartest person in the room. Like you really never want to be the smartest person in the room and I know based off today that I am destined for greatness. I'm literally destined for greatness. And I just thank God for me being placed in a room with wonderful people. And I'm going to get all that's coming for me, baby. Like I, it's mine. Like nobody can take that away from me. This is literally my destiny. This is what God has had for me. And like, I, I, I'm in tears almost because I'm just so, so thankful like glory be to God for making such wonderful people I mean I'm almost in tears y'all but anyways I had a 10 out of 10 experience I'm about to go see my friend I might show her I might not <laughs> <You know? laughs> but yes glory be to God for all of that that just transpired and I am so excited and I cannot wait to go to more events. I am so excited to go to, to ah, I am so excited to go to more events. Like, you'll see me. I'll be there, Bookie. I'll be there, Bookie Wookie. <laughs> All right, y'all. Where did the light go? Mm. All right, so. So, my night's not over. I'm about to go get some. I really want some sliders, y'all. I really want some, like, burger. <laughs> like, a little slider. I don't want, like, a whole burger. I just want, like, mini burgers and some fries real bad. So, I'm about to go get some food. And, yeah. Let's go get some food, y'all. And then, after that, I'm going to go home, watch the kids. And tomorrow's gonna be a pool day, so it's gonna be real cool. And then Saturday, we about to turn up at the Delta Ball. I want to go to brunch on Saturday beforehand, but that might be a slippery slope because once I go to brunch, I'm taking a nap, and I yeah, we don't know how that's gonna go, y'all. But I'll catch up with y'all at the restaurant, y'all. Tell shit. Tell me why we went to the wrong restaurant. 
and I don't make no mistakes like this really, but it's just funny, y'all. Like, I was trying to go to y'all house, but that whole took us to Capitol Grill. Yeah. Ooh, first of all, you gotta get the moment. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Right. But yeah, I just. <sighs> on to the next one. I just want some slaughter. I said, why the f is the filet mignon on here? And I said, the wrong restaurant over here. I said, why the appetizer like $50? Huh. Why the appetizer is $50, y'all? <sighs> you know, pay the, pay the tomorrow, y'all. <laughs> I got my stuff done. Love the right restaurant. So excited. And then this girl had me trying to eat filet mignon. <laughs> so when content, y'all, <laughs> y'all, well, and I'll answer the finish because I got it. Why did a roach? Why did a roach crawl across our table? <laughs> oh, oh, I want to take the wig off. I just want to snatch the wig off. I want to take my clothes off. off. Snatch my skin off. I'm oh, wash it, rinse it out, and put it back on. A cucaracha. Like. You was about to say something. I'm seeing something crawl out the side, <laughs> out the side of my eye and <laughs> fire. Oh! 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 Just scream it out. Oh, oh so mad. Oh, oh y'all. <laughs> I look. I love a free meal, but not like that. I love a free meal, but not like that, y'all. That is some nasty stuff. The food was good, but now I feel like I done had extra protein, and then now I'm, I'm just itching, y'all. I, I think this roach is all over me. And now I know how my dreams work. I'm going to have dreams about bugs. Oh. Hmm. Take me home. I'll see y'all another time, because y'all saw that footage that I put in there? Of that roach? <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> she talking about something I'm very displeased with the service that's nasty <laughs> I'm like okay the server was nice she's just no, a dick no man cause her ass was like well what y'all not gonna pay hell no nigga we ain't gonna pay wait who said that the 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 manager she she standing there like she wanted to say some say some I thought the you manager was pay? a lady that said yeah y'all can get out of here yeah that was her but she said it after the fact I had to oh she Oh, she tried to be funny? Yeah, she's just standing there. Well, let me go ahead and move, y'all. Nah, we out of here, man. Yeah, you should say it's we... It's nasty. You just gonna try and move us? Like, no. I don't know if it's roaches somewhere else in this right. room. Right. Oh, I it's thought crazy. she... I didn't know she was yelling back at us. I thought she... Somebody else was saying something. So, yeah, y'all can get out of here. She said, you said we about to leave. Yeah, y'all can get out of here. That means we can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally go. She didn't say that initially. That's what I'm saying. Oh, they trying to be funny. You're not about to play us like we the problem. No, your roach infestation is the problem. That's crazy. Oh wow. Like, and why would you make us pay for the food after there's a la cucaracha on our? That's damn that's thing? what I'm saying. That's crazy, right? That's insane. I'm telling my mom. <laughs> okay, y'all. <I> <laughs> She, I didn't realize she actually yelled back talking about something, so y'all not going to pay, girl. No, let the roach pay. <laughs> oh, and I acted like you running stuff, little cucaracha. Go ahead and handle your business, handle the bill. Oh, Chanel, see, that's why I'm just a girl, guys. I'm going past Chanel and Louis and Del Frisco's and... And Arquise, I don't even know what Arquise is. And and Burberry and and uh, Christian Louboutin. Uh, and what else is on? Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. And Gucci. I'm just a girl, guys. I want everything. Like, <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> the fuck, I'm fucking disgusting, y'all. 
<laughs> um, Tiffany, like, I want some Tiffany. Mm. Oh, I'm just a girl, y'all. I just had an epiphany. I need to take this y'all. I feel disgusting. Like, I'm I'm definitely taking this purse and I'm dumping I'm dumping everything out this purse, y'all. And yeah. Mmm. That thing looks sexy. The corner rod. Alright, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Y'all I got a lot to say. Alright, good morning everybody. It is the next day. And this go, please, baby. I can't get no sleep, no peace of mind, y'all. Alright, y'all, so we are. Okay, y'all, so we are okay. Ignore the dog. Ignore the damn dog. But we are about to go. First of all, is it glow or is it oil? I can't tell. But we're about to go to this nature center with the kids. Yesterday was amazing, 10 out of 10. And yeah, got my hair, little headband action. I have my, uh, shoot. I got my clear brown tail feezy. And I'm about to put on my uh, foam runners. And yeah, this is the OOTD, y'all. It's just super, super chill. But yeah, we're about to take the kids to the nature park. So, that's going to be, I guess, kind of fun. Maybe they'll have some animals. Um, and then, yeah, later on I'm supposed to take them to the pool. And then I'm supposed to go get hookah with this with this guy. But, like, not as, like, not romantic, but, like, as a friend. And I'm not going to, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, but we're going to pray on that one. So, we'll see. But I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Huh. him. He will give you everything. Come and take a Wait, Asia, are you going in the pool? Yeah, I am going in the pool later. Can't keep going back to the Is it alive? Yay! Oh. No, no, it's not. It's a push. Mm -hmm. Wait, that could be something dangerous. These yeah. aren't alive. They can't be alive. That is alive. Oh, oh it's just a light. Oh. You look funny. Oh, these are fake. What about skunk? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh oh, you got it? Oh, my God. Well, do it. I know, right? I'll go out to the regular people. Mom, wanna call me? Cut I'm so good at that. Oh, you made it. Welcome. Hello! Ooh. Hello! Ooh. I think that girl was a V3. Mm -hmm. Probably, right? No, you stay in there. Say hi. Ooh, whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm still fighting for my life with these kids. <laughs> oh. Um, I just commend all my mothers that have kids and stuff. Because, y'all know, I'm 28 years old. I don't got no kids. And this right here. This right here is my natural birth control. Mm -mm. No bueno. But we're about to go to the pool so I get my little outfit on, y'all. I think I'm going to keep the headband on because why not? And I kept the same bag, but I'm wearing my Yeezy slides even though they're so, they're so janky. But, I mean, 
What is a girl to do? I look nice. I like the I like the look. Um, and my friend is coming over to come swimming too. We're gonna get some crabs, y'all. We got some creepy crabs, some crabs, crabs, crabs. So I'm so excited for that. If we get some cup water, some wine, you know. Gotta live the cute little lifestyle. But I'm not gonna get that drunk. I didn't text the guy about the hookah tonight. Well, my friend. I didn't text my friend about the hookah tonight. Um, I might hit him up. I don't know yet, y'all. I'm just tired. But yeah. The poor outfit is cute. Cute. I see y'all. It's 11 p.m. Friday. It's like 87 degrees. I don't know what happened, y'all. I'm in freaking Arlington, Virginia. Right? Look at how tired I am. Like, my skin elasticity is gone. Like, I mean, smack myself, but like, y'all, I look like I'm 50. Like, what happened to my face? But either way, I am about to go, I'm about to go to your house and go to sleep. Cause what? She came over with my family, y'all. It was so fun. Like we ate crabs. Well, we went to the pool. We ate crabs. Um, we had some drink and I'm going to finish my drink when I get to her house. And yeah, yeah, I'll be home in the morning to take care of my dog period um so yeah i just want to come in y'all i'm so sorry that i didn't film like all that stuff but like it just i had like fifteen thousand kids on my back so the kids are taken care of the kids are good i'm going home i'm going to my boo house oh uh, they they crazy i don't want to get me away from these people yeah y'all I'll catch y'all either tonight or tomorrow, but more than likely tomorrow. Love you guys. I'll catch y'all when I catch y'all. You want to try some of my bowl? I'm going to take a little bite. Yeah, a little when it's hot. That's the only way I'm gonna run my mornings because I'm tired. I'm tired. Mm. Y'all don't even know. Ah, y'all can't even see. Y'all don't even know. I have what's been going on, man. First of all, a mosquito bit me on my forehead yesterday. Like, that's so rude. Um, but it is almost five o'clock, y'all. I have a Ball, a sneaker ball to go to tonight and I'm about to get ready. If you hear some loud blowing in the background, that's my fan because I'm drying my wig off. Hold on, I gotta show you. Let me show y'all real quick. Please look. By any means necessary, baby. This wig gotta get dry. But yeah, anyways, I'm trying to figure out um, basically what accessories to wear because I'm wearing a purple dress and I'm wearing panda dunks. I just went to the mall to get some dunks y'all because I just didn't have any more like I had some and I threw them away because they was yeah but I'm trying to look at what I have now I don't want to be like too I don't, I don't know it's like I don't want to be overly dressed but I don't want to be underdressed y'all know what I mean so I was thinking about like a little black bag but all the black bags I have are like leather this one's okay though like it's cute It's cute, it's just like a little matte black crutch, clutch or whatever. And then I have another one, hold up. I have this one, but I feel like this one is way, 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 way too big. Like, it really throws off the outfit. So I'm either gonna go with this one, or I do have this purple clutch that I can take too, but my dress is purple. I don't really wanna put purple on purple. Y'all, I'm struggling, I actually don't know what to wear. Hold up, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all later. Alright guys, 
I'm basically ready. I think I'm gonna go with this purse just because I need a big bag to put my camera in, but it can double as a clutch, so it's fine. And I went to go buy me some new dumps. So I'm gonna slide these on for the sneaker ball. The dress is really short, like, oh. Uh, I don't know. My gut in the way, y'all. So I still need to put my lashes on. Let me see if I can show y'all right here. If you watched my other vlog with my Dose Aversary, like two years ago in 2022, this is the same exact dress. I got it from Fashion Nova two years ago. And yeah, with the But I'm extremely late, y'all. I gotta hurry up. I'm about to put these shoes on and y'all will see me. I'll see y'all when I see y'all, okay? Love you guys. Hair is eating, baby hair is eating, all that stuff. Just need to pop my lashes on, lips, and we're done. What's, oh, let me turn this down. Hey, y'all. So, I am officially ready. I am on the way to the event. I'm so excited. I wish you guys could see the whole thing. Oh, y'all can kind of see it. Yes, face is done. Uh, my hair, I did like a little crown, like a braided crown. Um, I saw the hairstyle on TikTok. I thought it was super cute, so I tried it myself. It's I did an okay job, y'all. But uh, I want to prop it up so y'all can see the whole fit. The steering wheel is in the way. Um, I'm at a red light, so I'm not driving right now. Um, but I'm just so excited, super, super excited to where this site's going to be. I know it's going to be really fun. I get to see my line sisters. Um, yeah, like, I'm just hoping for a really good night, safe night. You know, I already stay prayed up on everything because I saw, like, some really sad stuff. Like, I think this girl, um, that a few of, um, that a few people that I know passed, um, passed away. And that's so sad. Like, it's always sad when somebody, you know, goes really young. So, I was like, you know, said a prayer for her, her family, her friends. And I had to say a prayer for myself because, huh, it's like the good are, like, 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 like the young, the youth are dying. And I hate that for us. But, you know, God calls you when he's ready. Um, so, yeah, I just, you know, always stay prayed up for a good, safe night. The makeup is eating. I didn't, I was scared because I was, like, rushing. I like the hair, too. Um, I feel like it's a little white somewhere but it's okay like it is what it is and i got text missing okay just at the house see you know black people mm. so yeah my ETA is 8.50. This is why I miss living like where I used to live because it was so close. Like, it was just so close to um, like where my line sisters are and stuff. But now, like, now that I'm in like West Bubba, it's just so far. And I wanted to film like me getting ready and stuff. But y'all, when I tell you, it is so hard to multitask sometimes. Like, I, I don't, um, I don't know how people do it. Like, y'all really be multitasking. Yeah, I get the camera out. Like, and people's setups be looking crazy while they're filming. Like, that would have me so overstimulated. Like, no, just no. But yeah, let me go ahead and focus on the road, and I'll see y'all later. All right, guys. Made it. I made it, I made it, I made it. This is where it's at. This is in Laurel. Come on, Capisai. My dress is a little short, y'all. I don't know about this. I see them in the vlog. I'm always stopping. I don't know why. But I gotta be on my Zoom this time. Now this other bed look a little old. Is it G? Yeah, G. Yes. Oh, you're a dick. There's an eye, so don't even. Okay. How did you make it here? I got what uh, navigation do you use? Apple. <laughs> <laughs> she mad? It's just like a little speck. No, I'm mad because. 
Because I got fucking lost and Janine had to do it. No, I got lost. So I went all the way down to the field. I was about to race with the horses. Stop it. Oh, shit, I was like... I feel ghetto fabulous. Mm -hmm. Batty, batty, shot a clock. Batty, batty, shot a clock. Batty, batty, shot a clock. You hear that clapping? That's my thought of that. That's that booty me. <laughs> And do things. Y'all, this bathroom is so nice. Look at the equestrian bathroom. That's where the horses go to pee. Again. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what the on that. Shawty was just throwing me off. Like, you wasn't, he wasn't catching the vibe. You don't know. You don't know when to stop. Like, he had one moment after, but I was gonna be like, please leave. Like, he talking about something I didn't know. Like, y'all know. It's weird. It was like, so what is she? What is she? Like, she's African American. <laughs> I said, that is an African American one from Southeast DC. Yes, don't call me. She's like, oh, where? He was like, don't wear your parents from. I said, my parents are from DC. Guys, it's time to get home. So, good night, night y'all. Alright, y'all, let me give y'all the run now before I go to bed, okay? So, I'm gonna set y'all right here. Alright, so let me give y'all the rundown on what happened. So, basically, we, um, we just got finished with the Delta Ball. And my um, my sisters in, in pro fight, we all wanted to go to um, get some hookah, right? And we had went to this lounge in Laurel, and it was like a um, like an African um, lounge. It was really nice in there though. And basically, we was all vibing, and then um, like. These men were coming up to, like, talk to my last sister. Rightfully so. That is a bad girl. Really bad girl. So, they were, like, coming up to her. And it was, like, overwhelming because it was just, like, one man and another man. Another man. And one of the men, like, he couldn't catch the hint that she didn't want him. We didn't want him at our table. And he was just being weird. He was like, oh, I'm going to buy you guys all drinks. At first, I was like, yeah, I'll take a drink or whatever. But then he started giving me, like, really creepy vibes. So, I was just so thankful that I did not get a drink from him. But he was just being really weird and stuff. And it was really throwing me off. Like, I was like, ill. You're like, you're really throwing me off. He kept asking me questions about everybody at the table. I'm like, I don't know. Like, first of all, this man had to be in his 40s. And I'm like, you're asking me questions when the people are right there, like, you're a grown man, ask them. If you want to know where they're from, ask them. I'm not about to answer your questions for you, Buki. Like, no, you're grown. And if you ask me, I'm a lie. <laughs> so, so let, me not, let me not lie, but like, and then, y'all, I had lied about my name to this man. He said, what's your name? I said, Diamond. Diamond is always my name when I don't want you to know my real name. So, and now I got to come up with a new name, but... Um, he was like, what's your name? I said, Diamond. He was like, he was like, ah, you have the name of a stripper. And, <laughs> y'all, even though that's not my real name, why did I get so offended? I was like, my mother named me Diamond. How dare you? He was like, yeah, that's a stripper name, yada, yada. And he's like, if you go to a strip club, you know, that's the first name they're going to take. I said, well, I ain't, well, I ain't got nothing to do with that. You better talk to my mama and daddy about it because I ain't named myself Diamond. And I was like, 
actually offended. I'm like, hold up, Deja, your name is not even Diamond, so shut up. <laughs> like, uh, but still, if my name was Diamond, I would have been really offended. So to all the Diamonds out there, baby, I'm sorry that this man has called y'all strippers or said that y'all stripper names. I think we we forgot the meaning of what a Diamond actually is. Like, ugh. So basically, it got really weird. Like, it was like so many guys, like, overcrowding my, my line sister and like it's overwhelming because we're she's at the same table with us so they're overcrowding us and then like it's just yabba dabba yabba dabba shabba dabba ding dong everywhere and the security comes up to the weird guy oh mind you the weird guy i'm smoking my hookah minding my business he was like can i smoke some of your hookah I said no, cause I don't know where your mouth has been. Like I don't know where your mouth been, and you breathe it in and out the same tube that I'm breathing in and out of. That's not gonna happen, Buki. So I said, nah, I don't know where your mouth been. He thought I was playing, so he's gonna reach over me to grab one of the tips off of the table and open it. I looked at him like the audacity that you have right now to think that I'm going to sit here and let you smoke on my hookah and you reach over me like over me. Absolutely not. So, huh. So he reaches over me to grab the hookah um, tip. And I'm like, bro, you're not smoking. He was like, why not? I said, because I said so. You're a grown man. Go buy your own hookah. You're trying to munch off my hookah like, ugh. Ugh, Negroes give me heebie-jeebies. Ugh. Like, I'm like, it's 1.40 in the morning. Are you not tired? Please go home. Mind y'all, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning right now. Like, this is something, like, I was like, I'm in the Twilight Zone. Like, what is this place? Like, what's going on for real? And the guy still tried to buy his drinks. I'm like, I don't want nothing that you get in, boy. Like, at first, I was like, yeah, I'll get a drink. But, like, I'm so just, I'm just so happy I did not get a drink from him. And I wouldn't have let anybody else get a drink from him either. So, like... We're uncomfortable. Everybody's just uncomfortable. We're like, yeah, let's go. So we leave. And then, like, everybody's leaving out, too. Because now the place is closed. It's 2 o'clock. The place closed at 2. So it was already, like, 2. The place had closed. And everybody's walking out basically right after us. And so... And so, basically, we ended off the night. And I was like, bro, people are so weird. Like, y'all can hear in, in the other clip, like, we was just like, people are weird. And, um... And then one of the guys, he was also taking a fancy to, like, my other line sister as well. And it was so weird because, um, it was so weird because, like, he had followed her. And he was, like, kind of speed walking to her car. And I, I parked, like, a few cars behind her because we were just, like, on the street. So I parked a few cars behind her. And I see him. Oh, I'll pick that up later. I saw him, like... Like, my sister, she had her car, like, like she was ready to leave, so it was turned out a little bit. But he was, like, standing there with his all white fit on, standing there, and her windows rolled down. And I'm like, bruh, I know she's trying to go home. So I do a little skirt, skirt. I'm like, skirt, skirt, and I'm honking the horn, too. And I'm like, I'm asking my sister. So I rolled down my window. And so our cars are right next to each other. So I rolled up when I'm like, girl, you good? He goes talking about something. Yeah, we good. I wasn't asking you. Ugh. The audacity that men be having be blowing me sometimes. I'm like, as a man, as a boy, as a whatever you are, how dare you? Like, maybe because I just really don't like men. I, I, Lord. I don't know. I do not like men, bruh. The audacity, the audacity that you men have is diabolical. Like, I know not everybody is like that. So, I'm not talking about all men. But the men of, of tonight, your actions were, di were diabolical. No, absolutely not. And so, he told myself, yeah, we good. I'm like, and then I, I just start going off. Like, it was like a gentle go off. I'm like, I'm not talking to you, nigga. Like, nah. Like, I'm not talking to you. So... Yeah, so I was like, I kind of intervened and then I made sure my, my sister got away from him and I just skirted off the lot too. Because what do you mean we're, we're for? I asked my sister. I even look at you. I asked my sister, is she good? You can talk about something. Yeah, we good. I was not talking to you. Like, answering for a woman? 
who do you think you are? Oh my gosh. So that's how my night went. And it took me like 45 minutes to get home. Oh my gosh, y'all. Took me like 45 minutes. And now I am home. I am at peace. And like I said, it is, um, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is, y'all. It's like 310 or something. Uh, it's 317, y'all. In the morning. And I have church in the morning. So, I think, I was going to end my vlog tonight, but I think I'm going to end it tomorrow. Um, yeah. I'm tired. But the makeup look eight today. I think I'm going to do my makeup again tomorrow for church. I don't ever really get gussied up for church, for real, in the face. Like, my outfits be cute, but I need my face card to eat, too. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And, yeah. So, good night, guys. I'll see y'all in the morning. The basic message. He said, I'm tired of preaching about the doctrine of repentance from dead works. Dude, what? <laughs> That's basic? And it goes on, about a faith and baptism laid on of him. So we said, hey, let's unpack once and for all these six basic tenets of our faith. So after this series, you can say, I know the foundation of Christianity and I am ready to go on to maturity. And by the way, even though the writer uses big phrases, these theological points are not that deep. So for example, the doctor- All right, y'all, what's up, what's up? So I went to church this morning, guys. Ugh. Why do I feel like I look crazy? I do look a little crazy. The, the light's not hitting like it needs to. I went to Union Church this morning. It was really, really good. The message was what I needed. Like, the message was tea. So, Pastor Steven, you doing a thing. Because I think it was really one that I needed. And I got there just in time. I did. I was a little late to church, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. Because when I talked to y'all last night, it was already, what? It was like 8 in the morning. No, it, not 8 in the morning. It was like 4 in the morning. So... If you can imagine, your girl was tired, but I did wake up. I went to the 12 o'clock service, and, um, yeah, I was late to that, too, because, baby, my legs was not trying to move, but I'm like, if I can get up to go party, I can get up for the Lord. Hello? Hello? So, yeah, the message was really good. It was just basically about, um, we're in this, um, series of elementary, um, faith, kind of. I think this was called, like, elementary faith. And this message was was basically about like don't miss your opportunity like like what I what I gathered from it is stop focusing so much on the uh, of like Christianity as a religion and focus on more so on your relationship with God because you know in um um there's a verse in Matthews it says you know have we not like prophesied and cast out demons in your name and he was like basically like I never knew you so you know you're done for he was like I never knew you depart from me and I think we need to start focusing more on our relationship with God like yes um, of course Christianity as a religion is a thing but like focusing on your relationship with God is so so important because you can know Christianity as a religion and still never know God like you can never have a relationship with him, but you'll know, like, the basics of Christianity. Like, can, can you let me go, please? Can I please go? Like, this person is, this person's not being nice. And I just want to go, please. Okay. Oh, this place is crazy today. What's going on? I'm going to go pick up my curry out. Um, I ordered some Kenny's because I'm so hungry, y'all. Like, where is Kenny's? Oh, it's down there. But yeah, I'm super hungry, and I just really, 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 really like get some food. But this guy's low-key being a butt. I'm not even gonna hold you. Be nice. See me trying to park. Like, ugh. Okay, y'all. So, yeah, like, um, it was basically saying don't focus more so on, um, I don't know. You basically, basically it was saying you don't want to miss, um, you don't want to miss certain steps. Like, you don't want to miss first base. 
like the whole prophesizing your name, casting out demons, all that stuff. That's like second, third, and fourth base. But don't miss first base, which is having a relationship with your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Like you have to have a relationship with the Father. Then he also he also talked about the three different baptisms. Um, he talked about the flesh baptism, which is usually like the water baptism and stuff. Then he talked about the spirit baptism, like the Holy Spirit baptism. And he talked about the soul baptism. And I want to go more into it. I have my notes, actually. Like, where's my phone? Okay, so basically my church notes, um, it... It talked about Acts 18, 24 to 26, Hebrews 6, 1. And it basically says to stop performing for God because he is not interested. He's not interested. Like, he loves you for who you are. And there are also, like I said, multiple baptisms. Um, and this one, the flesh baptism, because I recently got baptized in April. So the flesh baptism spoke for me because even though I, I baptized my flesh, I... <laughs> Like, I don't know, my soul may still be wilding out. Like it says, water baptism, my flesh has been baptized and my flesh is covered in Christ. My soul may be wilding out. And Lord knows my soul be wilding out just a little bit. Like, like I'm just still a tinge of ratchet. But you know, God is working on me, y'all. God is working on me. Amen. Um, yeah, and it's also saying um, soul, the soul needs to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And spirit without spirit baptism, my emotions will control me because there's no anchoring on my soul. And it also mentions 1 John 5, 7 through 8. And you never want to skip the first base. And a lot of us lack lawlessness. And lawlessness, according to Pastor Stephen, it says when you do spiritual, scriptural things, but you have no relationship with God, that's lawlessness. And um, he also said a good point because I think a lot of us get religion and relationships mixed up. Like, like don't focus so much on your relig on the religion, focus on the relationship. But it says that Christianity was never about making bad people good. And the faith is about taking dead people and making them alive. And, oh, I was like, you better give it to them, Stephen. Like, come on now. Come on, Pastor. Um, it also mentions Ephesians 2. I think it was Ephesians 2, 1. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I'll fix that if I need to. Um, and it also talks about, like, if you ever felt like, like, condemnation like or somebody's condemning you it's all it's always an enemy condemning you not god now the holy spirit can convict you but never condemn you that's the enemy saying basically you've messed up so bad that you cannot come back to god but god is always happy when you come back to him even if even if what's that song even if i run away even if i fall on my face God still wants you to come back to him either way because it knows that you're still trying and trying and trying and all we can do as Christians is try our best every single time um, and then he also said what what is in your heart comes out your mouth people can be accurate but not have the um, power of the Holy Spirit and I was talking about the story of um, of oh my gosh I can't remember oh, guys I'm gonna give it to y'all later okay um and also we need to just stop trying to do life in our own strength like we cannot do life simply based on our own strength we need the power of god we need jesus to help us get through this life especially when we're trying to transform and change we need to stop trying to be perfect and stop trying to come to god sinless we're never going to be sinless but the thing is that the price has been paid so we need to believe in god and thank him and praise him for paying for paying the price so we do not have to burn so we do not have to be put to death so that we can have everlasting life with our lord like come on give it tea ah oh, guys that feels so good to talk about also i don't like that my lace is lifting but yeah um but yeah that was just my message for today and i'm about to start talking about ratchet stuff in a second <laughs> So basically, I'm at Kenny's trying to get my food. Um, I'm at Kenny's carry out, and I'm about to go get some food. Um, I'll put in an order for like chicken wings, bamo sauce, fries, with salt, pepper, ketchup, DMV thing. Come on, babies, if you know, you know. Um, and yeah, then I'm gonna go home. I'm tired. I might do some online shopping because this weekend is Broccoli City Fest. Now I'm not going to Broccoli City, but I'm definitely going to the after moves. So I am about to look for some clothes because your girl's outside. I think I'm gonna Bobbyana. Like, should I do a Bob? 
I don't think I want to do a bob. But I want to do like a color bob. I don't know, y'all. I'm low-key thinking about taking my blonde wig and turning it into a blunt cut and like doing like messy waves. But I also don't want to mess with my blonde wig. <sighs> what is a girl to do, y'all? I don't know. I don't know, but I just know I need another wig. My face is so tight. Like, why is my face tight, y'all? Like, I feel like I got Botox or something. But yeah, let me go get this food. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna catch up with y'all later. It is raining so bad. Mm -hmm. We'll be to pick my little sister up from school. She had an orientation. But I don't even think I can see how bad that is. This is this will be the last day I vlog. I just came to see my sissy poo. And I gotta go to the bathroom. to see you. Good morning, nice. Woo 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 woo. Go bears. Woo 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 woo. Woo 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 woo. I me a bear. Someone at Morgan State yeah, loves me. Oh. Alright y'all, so I just got my sister from Morgan not too long ago. Um I also um I don't know y'all I just got a ticket. Well, I got a ticket like a while ago. And this is the day that I took my dog to go get her um, rabies shot. And, yo, PG County be tripping sometimes. They said I ran a red light. And the picture shows that I ran a red light. But I did not run a red light. I was at, what I learned from driving school, I was at the point of no return. So, if I'm at the point of no return, that means, like, sometimes it'll, like, just be red. And you go through it. And I remember because my sister was in the car with me. What had happened was I was driving. The part, the car in front of me, the problem is that the car in front of me, they had, um, they slowed down like abruptly to make a turn. And so that caused me to run the red light. But I didn't run it. So they tried to charge me some $75. I'm about to appeal it because, Buki, I ain't run no light. The light ran me. But I understand PG, they want their money. So whatever. So, I, but I am going to appeal it because, no, I didn't do it. The pictures show that I'm guilty, but the mindset shows I'm not a word. But, yeah, anyways, I'm on my way to my friend's house. Um, I'm going to spend the night or whatever. Yeah, that's tea. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go to her house. I'm going to start editing this vlog right here. Um... This vlog is actually running on way longer than I expected. So, yeah. And then I gotta make sure I get this out. I'm actually trying to make sure I edit this vlog and get it out by Thursday. And it's Monday now, so like I said, tonight's gonna be the last day of the vlog. And I wanna get it out Thursday because this weekend coming up, I have so much going on, y'all. Like, it's Broccoli City Fest in DC. I'm not going to Broccoli City. But am I going to be outside? Absolutely. So, I have an event Friday. I got a party to go to on Friday. I have my last sister. She's moving. So, we're having a send away party for her all white. I ordered my outfit yesterday. So, it should be here tomorrow. Um, and then, what else we got? We also have... Um, what else? And then, probably like a Sunday brunch or whatever. But just know this weekend... Baby, but um, also, I'm gonna try to make sure if I go to brunch on Sunday, I'm gonna try to make sure I can go to church before I go to brunch, which means I can't be doing too much turn up on Saturday because, yeah, even though my last set, oh, yeah, there's gonna be an open bar. Open bar, you had me at oh, I'll be there. <laughs> it's like, nah, I was gonna go regardless. But yeah, um, I don't know, y'all. I really feel like having a salad tonight. Like, I really want a salad. And I want, um, like, a smoothie. I don't have any with some healthy stuff because I could feel, like, my body telling me, like, we want fruit. We want fruit. Like, girl, what was you doing? Because I was on my fruit cleanse and it was doing me so good. Like, uh, my stomach started getting irritated. So, I think I had some bad fruit or some old fruit or something. And I've just been beefing up on freaking, uh, bread and stuff. And I've been eating so much bread. It's so bad. Like, I can feel like it's spreading literally everywhere. Bread is spreading through my thighs. It's spreading 
through everywhere. So, yeah. I need to stop that. I need to start juicing. I need a salad ASAP. No Rocky. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, I think I'm going to end the vlog off right here. Um, we just got some... Well, we're um, getting wine right now. And I'm just going to call it a night. But editing this video, sipping some wine, eating some food. So, yeah. I look a little crazy. It's been a long day. But I'll catch you guys later. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, y'all. Love you guys so much. And, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.